it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on Uranium Hunter Corporation, ticker symbol URHN. Uh, I've been tracking this chart um, since this candle right here, and as you can see, it continues to make nice moves. Uh, these past few days have been um, nice, and the uptrend continues. I wanted to go over this video to get some support and resistance lines marked up and kind of just give a uh, couple different time frame analysis of the chart. I'm going to go over the daily chart, which is what we're looking at right now, uh, look at the weekly chart, and then look at uh, the 60 minute chart. Uh, the reason I'm going to look at the weekly is just because uh, it's, it's hard to find any resistance levels by just using the daily. Uh, you have to look back quite a uh, bit of ways in time. So um, by using the weekly chart, that's a little bit easier to see. Um, but just to kind of go over quickly what's been going on with the daily chart. Um, first thing is just looking down here at volume, you can see it was basically non-existent. And then the past couple weeks, the volume has begun to pick up, as you can see also. And then today, um, real nice volume. I mean, all these days were actually really nice too in uh, terms of being above average. Uh, but today's volume went over a million, uh, real strong. And uh, the good part about that is the price reacted accordingly. Got a nice uh, bullish candle up here and actually broke out of some very important uh, resistance levels so we are on breakout status right now um, I'll go over that when I uh, pull up the weekly chart but we are looking pretty solid now uh, from a, a breakout standpoint and if you do follow technical analysis you, you, you understand and know that the key aspect of a breakout is this stuff down here you, know, you can't really say something's a breakout if it's got you know that amount of volume for example breakouts are uh, most bullish or bearish depending on which way they go when um, they have uh, the volume that corresponds so the more volume it has the stronger the breakout that's pretty much the easiest way um, to remember it but looking here um, we had this down sloping 200 day simple moving average sloping down at us um, this was a few weeks back hovered around it a little bit and now we are finally separating ourselves from it and making new highs and once again, just to keep this in context, we are making new highs on this sort of volume, so that's good to see. Uh, but we now have the 200-day simple moving average underneath us. We have both the 10-day and 20-day simple moving averages sloping up. And what I like to see here is actually the 50-day now is beginning to finally curl up. So it takes quite a bit to get this one to curl up because it does uh, take into account 50 days worth of price action. But even this one now is starting to slope up, so that's uh, good to see from the daily chart. Hopping out, actually let's go down to the 60 minute chart and I just wanted to go over this to kind of show uh, what's been going on for the past couple of weeks. Uh, you can see that it was basically dead right here and then when uh, late May came upon us, kind of got the breakout here in this zone here and from there, you know, the rest has been history. Um, price broke out. And then it was basically just follow the 50 period simple moving average. And if, if when you look at this purple line, you can see that it's just been sloping up very nicely and directing us the uh, way of the trend. So um, the price has pulled back like any uptrending stock would. But um, every time it has, it's found support on either the gray, maroon, or purple line. Once again, the gray being the 10 period, maroon being the 20 period, and this is a 50 period. Um, here you can see that it found support at the 50 period but all these other times uh, especially right here just got you know kind of caught up in like the web that I like to refer to these moving averages that, uh, as um, caught up in this web of the 10 and 20 and has since then finally broke out and uh, moving upwards but um, you know long 60 minute chart the long term frame here is definitely an uptrend now hopping back to the weekly chart uh, this is what I was referring to. Let me move this up out of the way. But if you look here, this is from back in um, October. We had a high here a few different times. Actually, we had a low here of 15 cents, and then the price came back up and tried to bump its head on both these points. So let me pull up a line right there. So it was support price fell below it here tried to come back up and then two times hit its head right here on 15 cents before finally dropping below it and then slowly fading away however today we closed that point 
155. So we just broke o over this resistance line here. So that's what I was referring to earlier when I said we are on breakout status. We've gotten above this level here. Our next main resistance line is, is right up here at the low of all these candles, which is 24 cents. So we do have a nice little cushion here. Not necessarily a cushion, but a nice little area here where we could uh, make some nice progress. There could be some um, resistance at the high of these two candles, which is 18. What I'm going to do for these is just make that a little little skinnier because I don't foresee that being too much of a resistance. But nonetheless, there could be some here at 18 cents. But after that, uh, the next key resistance level is not until this area right here, which is at 24 cents. So uh, some nice percentage points that are still in play here. So once again, let's just hop back to the daily chart. Things are looking good. There's that resistance line I drew at 0.15. As you can see, we clearly closed above it. And then we have 0.18 and then 0.24 on the upside in terms of resistance. Um, but with this volume that's been coming in, um, the trend is definitely up. All you got to do is look at these moving averages to see that. And uh, you know, the trend is your friend and hopefully uh, this trend will stay intact and uh, keep pushing forward. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. If not, thanks for listening, and this was URHN.